everyone, welcome back guys, so here we are at Let's Play Football Manager with the Scottish National Team and we are in a little sick of changing our Fortnite in the qualifiers as you can see we are in the 5th place and if we want to make to the Euros we need to make some, we need to start to get some results um, basically, uh, as you can see, I got a new skin for Football Manager, which is great. I think it's way better. But let's go straight ahead to the 23 match squad that I selected for this national camp. We have Alan McGregor in goal from Hull City, James Morrison from West Brom, Charlie McGrew from Celtic, Stephen Aismi from Everton. Mark Reynolds from Aberdeen, Jordan Rhodes from Blackburn, Andrew Watson from Full City, Craig Sanson from Kim Nock. Um, some might question why this guy. Well, we have been in a very tough time with our goalkeepers, and some of them has been inju injured in the uh, last couple of weeks. So. Craig Sampson is going to have a chance into the 23-man match squad. I'm uh, not sure if he's going to start any games, but we'll see if he, the, the goalkeepers start, keep conceding goals the way they did in the last national games. He might get his own chance. We have Drain Sheeney from Ivanas. Hobart Snowgrass from Hull City. Stephen Whitaker. That's now playing for Sheffield Wednesday after the January transfer season. Aikesh Ania from Watford. Christoph Berra from Ipswich. Ryan Dogans from West Brom. Darren Fletcher, the captain from West Brom. Leif Griffith from Celtic. Grant Howling from Blackburn. Alan Hutton from Aston Villa. Shao Maloney playing in the MLS in Chicago Fire. Dave Marshall from Cardiff City. James McArdle from Crystal Palace. And that's it. You may also notice that I've chosen a way more experienced backline. I we're not gonna commit the same mistakes uh, going with the youngsters and international games as we did in the last episode and we are gonna be back in our home match against Germany in the Hampton Park welcome back guys um, we had one injured going up Scott Brown was out seven weeks um, it seems like a little bit injured prone at least for us in Scotland the He's almost never available. Uh, we ended up picking up Craig Barson from Derby County to replace him. And let's go to the way that we're gonna play against the Germans. We have the right place of David Marshall with second goal, Alan Hutton, Charlie McGrew, Christoph Berra, Ren Shinney, Darren Fletcher, Craig Barson was gonna make st a start even though he wasn't supposed to be in a camp. And here, uh, Morrison, Maloney, and Griffiths on top. So guys, we started the match in the Hampton Park and we have to overtake the Germans. It's gonna be an interesting match. We changed the tactics a little bit to something that we succeed on the attacking position. Might be a little bit suicide against the Germans, but... Uh, Something we gotta try. Uh, there's not much we can do. We need to. Uh, we could be in a position that a draw would be good, but we're not. We need to try to get a win of this game. Even that sounds kind of impossible against the world champions. A last minute goal. In the very first qualifier match, it was a little bit of a lucky from us.
Oh no. That's holy so that's that's how you do it, Hutton. Come on. Come on boys. James Morrison. Hutton again. Come on, Griffith. I can feel it. This is our time. Griffith! Oh! Just needed a post. That was a nice thought. It's in an Iron match. They're winning Georgia. Which is not good. They're in second place. They're making three points. And we are just making one. We make we need to make sure that Marshall makes an awesome save. That's that's how I wanted you. How I wanted you, you to play the whole qualifiers, Marshall. Why didn't you play that in the other games? Um, sounds like Darren Fletcher's tired. Not sure if I should take him out as the captain. Dragon, Dragon Hunt, Grand Hunts. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Right, let's keep positive. Darren Fletcher's was a little bit tired. I don't want to have a, a guy tired in front of the back line against the German team with those PC players. That wouldn't, that wouldn't be a good idea. But they have Shirley with the ball. Gutsa, come on, Amula, they lost, we're coming lucky, but come on boys, can we do it, can we do it, can we beat the Germans, Alan Hutton is tied, and so is James Morris, Un it's complicated. And Grant Hanley played right back. No, wait. Okay. Can Grant Hanley. Competent. And yeah, we gotta go forward. It's not ideal to make a lot of subs into your back line, but I don't wanna concede. And the Shul Marshall! That's how you do it, boy. Thank God. Eight minutes already. Now let's take Morrison out. Morrison, you're gonna come out. Stephen Naismith. This is your time, boy. If you, if you score a match winner, you're gonna be a hero. The Tartan Army will love you. Come on. We just had one chance with Griffith the whole game. And if that makes the ball comes with us. Come on, come on. Shalom Maloney. Grand Shini. Oh, uh, when he. Uh, oh, no, they have the ball now. Oh, that's very nice person. And here. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, oh there's a foul. Come on, Red. Come on, Ref. It's a red. Yeah, yeah, it's a red card. Kadir is out. Come on. Sappy. This is something we have been very good at during the whole qualifiers. Come on. Put that one win. And maybe. Maybe we can come can out as winners against Germany. We're clearly the underdogs. Charlie McGrew is gonna take the fall. Why, why, why is that happening? Oh, and he misses. Of course he misses that. I need to check who is taking more before going into the game. Now Tony Cross has exactly the same freak. Take the ball out of that. What are you doing, Brisson? That scared the shit out of me. Now we have another chance. And he, uh, Hanley. And that's a full time. I want to draw with the Germans. It's so weird how we can play so well against the Germans. 
and lose against Georgia. Let's take a look at the stats. We had a far amount of shots, which I was expected by my new tactic, uh, which basically was the same uh, position here on the field, yet the diff with some different instructions. Uh, as expected, Germany was the best team, they had more possession, more shots on target and more shots overall, but we played decent. The problem now is that we are 5 points ahead Ireland, which is the second place, which go directly to the UEFA Euros, and 4 points from Poland, which is now going to the playoffs. I guess we're gonna come back. We still have a match in this episode. It's going to be a friendly against France. Going to rotate the squad. Give some international experience for some guys. And start to look forward for the next qualifying matches. Welcome back guys. We are playing against France. As you can see, we got a bit of a rotation in the squad. We got Naismith from the start. Whittaker, Hanley, Robertson, McGregor. A lot of guys getting chance to stop and get minutes, get some caps. He had a problem with Snodgrass. He got injured in the last time. Unfortunately, we we not were not able to get any replacement for him. It was a shame, and he could get an experience for another player. But let's go straight into the match and see how we can perform against France in the Easter Road Stadium. So here is the start of the match. We're playing the next UEFA Euro host. The only difference that we're hosting then. And there's Chris Van. They almost scored. It's very interesting how we can perform against another team that can be considered a world class team. At least it's it's a it's a level that we didn't, we haven't achieved yet. And use this new tactic. It worked really well against Germany. Let's see if it's gonna work against France, of course. We have a slightly different squad and we're gonna make a lot of subs to get minutes into some guys and McGregor is playing decent well. It's key for us as a nation, but not a, a, a very decent team, especially taking a look at our back line, which is something I had to take a couple of minutes to, to take a look on, on, on the Hemi. Uh, they almost scored, we took a take that out. Uh, we are not very good from the back line, looking into as a nation. So, it's very important to have a good goalkeeper. I mean, take a look at Denmark when they won the Euro in '92. Uh, some guys ran in the Laudrup, but Laudrup didn't end up playing it. The, one, the only guy that saved them was Peter Schmeichel. Uh, that guy did awesome there. Um, so that makes some substitutions for this. Fletcher played enough as a captain. It deserves a little bit of rest. Kenny McLean from Aberdeen gonna get some minutes. Pretty sure we're gonna we're gonna concede some goals. Uh, very very sure of that. Ike Shinny, another great player for us. Uh, Grand Dons didn't play. It. Did he play against them? I, I I do not remember. Test. That's very weird. Um, uh, now let's take Lipfick Griffiths out. Sean Maloney in. And during the second half, let's make more substitutions. There's Kenny Mike Lane. MacArthur. We took a. And this. Yes. 
screen here. Oh, uh, and there is McGregor. We're doing well. I remember when we played in the same stadium, two friendlies against uh, Brazil and Italy. And we're totally outplayed. It's not like we're not being outplayed today also, but we're more consistent. And just why, as I say that, Mike Gregor concedes a goal that that's questionable, not as questionable as he did before, but still, well, can we score? No, we can't. <laughs> and there's Remy on, and they make two new, Matuidi, yeah. I say Matuidi. Uh, uh, it's not. It's not the worst case scenario. It's still friendly. We need to know what standard we are. And let's give Craig Samson a chance to play. Let's see if he can do. Mark Reynolds also. Christoph Berra out. I don't know. Bryson uh, went in. He, he played a decent match against uh, the Germans. Let's see he in the place of Nays. Maybe what he can produce. Interesting. Also, we have a couple guys that can play in multiple positions, which is very good. Especially in this tactic that I use. And. I like to rotate players a lot within the positions also. We don't have a very big pool of players, but we do have certain players that can play in different positions in that formation, which is quite good. I would be very mad if I was France coach and Griezmann would lose that cup. I'm not in Scotland, so I can't complain that. Last minute chance. That's McArthur. McLean. Um, and then that gets the ball. It's pretty much over. Is that last minute I like on FM that always takes long forever and you always know that's nothing gonna happen the game is just fooling you yeah as I said the game is over let's take a look at the stats this uh, one was the man of the match and we were definitely more outplayed than we were against Germany which is expected to our rotation of squad or change of players. There's a change. Uh, like we, we played a lot of less experienced guys, and we've not managed to be so offensive as we were against the Germans. But I think, as of all, is a very interesting uh, national camp that we had this time, and to be. To be fair, I think that next time when we're going to play US and Ireland, we're going to be way more prepared than we were this time. Uh, we're going to make the rotation of squad going into the match for US, and then we're going to play a very, very important tie against the Irish at home. We can't lose, we can't draw. We need to win all of those remaining matches. We managed to steal two points out of the Germans. Something that I think our opponents will not be able to do. So, that's all for it now, guys. Hit the like button if you liked. If you liked even more, hit the subscribe button. If you have any suggestions, just write in the comments below. And I see you guys in the very next video.